Hey guys, it is night time and not the most ideal filming conditions, but hopefully no one will mind too much. I wanted to show you guys what the Sterling Ink Hobonichi Weeks Notebook looks like. This is the 500 and is it 20 pages? It's the, you know, it's the full year version. Um, what the, or the big, the big version. Um, I just wanted to show you what it looks like when you set it up using the um, date stickers that you can get from their sticker pack. So I've mostly used um, leftover stickers from the Sterling Ink date pack, but I've also used some date stickers from um, an Etsy shop called Paper Dazed, um, just for when I ran out or um, needed to fill in some um, some blanks. But, you know, I thought it would, it would be good to show you like what this um, week's can look like. Um, I guess it would also be ideal if I had another Hobonichi Weeks with me to compare. But um, basically, this is, it's kind of similar to a Sneaker Weeks in that, you know, the, the um, cover comes all the way up to where the paper is. But it's the size of a normal Weeks. So that ultimately means the paper is a little bit bigger than the paper in a Hobonichi Weeks because the paper comes all the way up to the end and if you put like a hardcover Weeks on top it would be the same dimension. I hope that makes sense um, which is kind of cool um, and what I loved about this is I'm really enjoying my Sneaker Weeks and I um, would love it if the Sneaker Weeks offered a page a day instead of 220 pages at the end. Um, I would love 365 and I figured that one way around that was to get two Sneaker Weeks um, and use one for the first half of the year and the other for the second half of the year. But then when this came out, um, I'm like, wow, that could be the whole year in one book. And it's still a really nice compact size. Um, and so I have set it up. So let me open it up. And we've got, so I've set it up with this sort of a look. I've only put the days of the week in. I need to get um, the, the actual um, numbers there too. But this is going to be my quarterly um, overly view, overview. Um, I usually basically do health tracking on there, but I could potentially track some other things too if I wanted. That's for the year. And then I've left um, two sets of full blank pages. I think I will do like a yearly, like a 2024 on one page and then a 2025 on one page. Sorry, I've set this up for 2024 because um, I'm going to continue using my sneaker weeks for the rest of the year because it's going so well. But um, I wanted to set this up in advance for 2024. Now, one thing that I had in mind is I wanted to make sure if I'm going to put date stickers in that um, the pages don't really thicken up in one spot. So I've done my best to spread um, things out so that they don't all lie in one area. There's a little bit of a, you know, a lying in one area over here, but it's much better than when I set up the A5 um, undated. So I'll show you what I've done. So this is an example of January. So I've used a sticker there. Um, I'll probably write like January in with maybe like silver pen or something maybe there. Um, and, and I've basically just drawn the boxes in. So that was pretty easy and fun and good to do. Um, and then I've decided to use this kind of style. So I've changed the location of the date and the number. See, so I've kind of moved it down a little bit. So it's like top, bottom, and now it's just all here. I've tried to sort of move it around a bit so that it doesn't all bulk up in the same area. Um, and I've also separated um, like it so that all of January is together and then all of February is together. That's not my preferred way um, of looking at a diary, but I figured it was the best way to make sure that you didn't get too much bulk on the side um, by spreading out the stickers a little bit. Because if you just do every month um, together, then there's a lot of stickers in the same place. And then if you do 52 weeks together, there's a lot of stickers in the same place. And I just don't like how that affects my writing experience. Um, so that's the January and then I left I think about 32 pages 32 um, pages here for daily spreads and maybe like an index for the notes that I take during the month in there um, and then you move on to the next um, which is February um, and you can see February so I did 
that for um I did that for the first six months and then I made mistakes and so you can say I've white paper liquid paper stuff out you just you do make mistakes and it's not the end of the world um I have I have no problems using liquid paper to hide my mistakes um here's March um and so basically I was doing that and I got up to June April um, and then once I got up to June, I was like, mm, I, even though I'm doing my best to spread these stickers out so that it's not bulking up too much, I still am feeling like I'm starting to feel that there's too much here. Um, and it is bulking up a little tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. And I want to do my best to stop that from um, exacerbating for the second half of the year. So what I did... Um, sorry, I haven't put the dates in um, for the second half of the year yet. But what I did for the monthly spreads was I then changed the layout so that instead of instead of the calendar being on this side and the notes pages being on this side, I did it so that the calendar is on this side and the notes page is on that side, which means that the stickery part is actually on a different place um, in the book, so it just doesn't bulk up as much. So, um, you know, and, and like I said, I changed the layout. I also changed, I went from using the um, Paper Dazed Mondays to using the Sterling Ink Monday, um, which I probably like better in this sort of layout. Uh, it's a bit more Hobonichi. <laughs> um, and then I just changed, so on one week, I put them in the middle, Monday and 22, and another week I put it at the top and the bottom, and it just kind of keeps those stickers as separate as possible um, and then of course you know the Julys are all there in that one spot and then like the Septembers are here instead of here um, and then I've got um, I think August, August for example would be in the middle so it's just a way of separating those stickers um, and I've kind of done the whole year so I love it and if I put this in here so you can see what it looks like um, it's really great to finally have a book, like a diary book, that properly fits the Giulio Hobonichi, um, the week's cover, the Giulio Apunto, Slim Apunto. It fits really nicely. Just come out and zoom out. Okay, it fits really nicely. You know, and it, it doesn't interfere with the pen loop. I unfortunately don't have my pen with me right now, but, you know, you can, let me just slide that in, and you could see, so if I slide that in, you can see that there's full space to put your pen without it getting in the way. And it's just a really nice fit, like a really nice fit. I think the only problem with the fit is, you know, it, the punter doesn't have to be as tall as it is. But then I'm hoping that when the clear cover comes in, I'll be able to um, keep the clear cover on and still put it in, which will be amazing. So um, love this size. Well, definitely, I hope that there'll be more of these notebooks being made. Maybe even dated versions would be incredible because I just love this size so much. Um, and it's lovely to have it fit this book. Um, it didn't fit in a Van der Speck um, standard weeks cover for me. It almost did, but didn't quite. It might fit in a Mega. I would expect it to fit in a Van der Speck Mega, um, but I don't know because I don't have one of those. Um, but yeah, so that's my video and I just thought you guys would be interested in seeing what it looks like when you sort of sticker it up to make it look like the Hobonichi Weeks. All right, so um, see you guys soon. I'm really so thankful and excited that someone has made me a Hobonichi Weeks that has a page per day in the notes. I just could not have asked for anything more in this planet world. And I also want to say, you know, putting those stickers in, it's almost the full year has been dated up for the months and the weeks. Um, the spine is looking good. And, you know, I'll be putting a lot more stickers throughout the year and hopefully some photos as well. So it'll be good to see if it holds up. I think it will. Um, but, you know, if it doesn't, so what? <laughs> you know, it's definitely worth it. Um, because it's just, I think, amazing to have the Hobonichi Weeks with a day per page. I just can't think of anything better than that. And it's so fun to put the stick, just put the stickers in and draw it up. I find that very relaxing, um, especially doing it for 2024. Where there's absolutely no time pressure or anything like that. Okay, so thanks for looking through that with me and um, speak to you guys soon. Bye.